worship at Grace Lutheran Church of Winchester. Let us pray. Loving Shepherd, you know our names. You care for us. When we face darkness and death, walk beside us. When we hunger for your love, fill us with your presence. When we are fearful, feed us at your table. May we dwell in the house of goodness and mercy all the days of our lives. Amen. First reading, Acts 7, verses 55 through 60. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Stephen gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears. And with a loud shout of all rushed together against them, they dragged him out of the city and ban began to stone him. And the witness laid their coats on the feet of the young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, Received my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks to you, God. God.
Psalm 31, verse 1 through 5 and 15 through 16. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Let your face shine up on your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. Second reading, 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 2 through 10. Like newborn infants, long for the pure, spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation. If needed, you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, the rejected by mortals yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house. To be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices, and acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him, called you out of darkness into the, his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Holy Gospel according to John, the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 14. On the night that he is to be arrested, Jesus shares final words with his disciples as the one through whom God is known he promises to go before them and act on their behalf Jesus said to the disciples do not let your hearts be troubled believe in God believe also in me in my father's house there are many dwelling places if it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the truth. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? 
Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. And in fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the gospel of the Lord. This Sunday is a special day to recognize mothers. Today and every day we give thanks to God for the gift of mothers and the mother-like nurture that many people show to others in their lives. Isaiah wrote that God is a mother to us, comforting and carrying us in her arms. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. Isaiah 66, verse 13. Lord, on this day set aside to honor and remember mothers. We give you thanks for our mothers. We are grateful that you choose to give us life through them and that they received the gift of life from your hands and gave it to us. Thank you for the sacrifices they made in carrying us and giving us birth. We thank you for the women who raised us, who were our mothers in childhood, whether birth mom, adopted mom, older sister, aunt, grandmother, stepmother, or someone else. We thank you for those women who held us and fed us, who cared for us and kissed away our pain. We pray that our lives may reflect the love they showed us and that they would be pleased to be called our moms. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of motherhood. We thank you for the many examples of faithful mothers in scripture like Sarah, Hannah, Elizabeth, and especially Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had the courage and faith to say yes to your calling. May all women emulate these examples of motherhood and may they model for us what it means to be your disciples. Bless all mothers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Safer at home yet united in spirit let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please 
stay safer at home. When we must be apart to keep one another safe, we must trust that God surrounds us and fills us with hope. Connect with each other as you are able. Reach out to neighbors in need and be persistent in prayer. Do not let anger and fear of how life has changed and will continue to change blind you to what is at the heart of who we are as people of God. We are Easter people who believe Jesus Christ suffered, died, and has risen from the dead for our sake. Remember that as we walk through this global crisis together, we continue to be called to love one another. We are all in this together. Let us pray for all people and pray that by being a part, we will be together again. The blessing of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit surround and sustain you, keep you from harm, and fill you with courage and hope. Amen. God be with you. Chosen, not forsaken, I am.